So y'all, it is, what the hell is it? Monday, December 27th. Y'all, I always think someone's trying to break in my house. I don't know why, but any little noise I hear, I think someone's trying to break in my house. And I have to keep like, y'all, I have no peace in my life, okay? I literally don't live my life in peace. I'm always like fidgety. I'm looking around. I'm trying to figure out who is in my house. Today, it is minus 31 degrees outside here in Calgary. And the feel like temperature is between minus 40 and minus 55 degrees. I cue the polar bears because what is happening here? This makes no sense. The thing about it is, if I didn't have a dog, I would be okay. Love temporally, but hate her. I hate her because I still have to walk the dog every single day, every day, every day. It's just so annoying having to put on like two pairs of socks. I have to put on two pairs of pants. I have to put on like a shirt and then my hoodie and then my jacket, my winter jacket. And then I still step outside and I can't fucking breathe. Y'all, let me show y'all. Don't judge me, my bed is not fixed. And I just got new pillows. I haven't even put those pillows like in the pillowcase or anything. So don't judge me, okay? Temperly, you ready? Let's go, come. Come on. You ready to go outside? No, throw me neither, girl. <laughs> so, you wanna come outside? Okay. Anyways, I'm going to get ready and I'm going to take y'all outside with me so y'all can really see how cold it is. Y'all have to see how cold it is. I was like, y'all think I'm joking. I don't know whose idea it was to come to Calgary, but this makes no sense. I don't know if y'all can see me, but it's so <coughs> I can't even breathe properly. It's so cold. <sighs> y'all, just look at this. Let me just show you how deep the snow is. My hands are freezing. So I usually put Temperley's uh, leash here in this pocket. So let me do that now. Temperley, Temperley, slow down for a second. Feel like I can breathe here. Y'all, it is so, so cold right now. Like I told you guys, it's minus, minus 31. 
but it feels like minus 50. So, Kimberly oh. likes to poop down here by the mailbox. So, y'all, my hands have to warm up, so I'm gonna put the camera away for like a few seconds. All right, let's go. So yeah, y'all. This is what minus 50 degrees feels like, I guess. It's basically hell, so. Right. There are so all these usually waiting. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he waits behind the door for Templey to get back. So cute. I am back inside where it's safe, where the heater is on, and I can try to get my thoughts together because that cold just had me all over the place. But yeah, I literally, I was, I don't know what I was expecting to record, but I wanted to record more than that. But my gloves are in the car. And y'all, even my gloves in this kind of weather, they're so useless. So I find myself not even wearing them. So, y'all, I have to catch my breath. I don't know if it's because I'm fat or because it's cold. It's a problem. But anyways, y'all, if y'all are thinking of moving here, not just to Canada, but to Calgary, take it from me. No. Make a U-turn, go somewhere else. This is not it, okay? You know, Calgary is still... Despite being one of the largest cities in Canada, I think it's the third or fourth largest city in Canada, it still has one of the most affordable housing markets in the country. There's a reason for that. Because it's so freaking cold, bitch. Nobody wants to live here. I get it, like I get it. The only way y'all can get people to live here is to say the average price or the median price for a home in this city is half a million dollars compared to in Toronto where it's like 1.3 million or some something like that. Bitch, give me the 1.3 because it doesn't get this cold. Like it's, no, y'all, I'm not kidding. It's cold. And I've been in Canada for a minute. So if I'm telling you it's cold, it's cold. Don't let me discourage you from doing whatever you gotta do, but I'm just saying, think about it. Think about it. This ain't what you want. You don't want this. I literally wanted to go to Walmart so, so bad. But y'all, I kid you not. Just the thought of driving there. First of all, I don't even know if I'll be able to open my car doors because they're frozen shut. Walmart is probably like, excuse me. It's probably like a 10, to 15 minute drive from here, which is not that far. With the way the roads are, it will take me twice as long to get there because I can't speed. So even though the speed limit on the majority of that um, highway that it takes me to get to Walmart, even though the speed limit on that highway is I think 90 kilometers, I usually don't do 90, I do like 110. But I won't be able, won't be able, I won't be able to even do 90. I have to go like 50 or 60. So the roads are so slippery, they're so dangerous. I just wanted to make this vlog really quick, really short, simple, to the point, nothing fussy. I don't wanna to do too much editing and stuff. I just wanted to really show you guys like how I function in this type of weather and basically to show you like what my nightly routine is when it comes to taking temporarily outside. So, I feel like it's a lot more involved in it because I have to kind of mentally gear myself up to do it, especially if she has to go out in the day and the night. And y'all, here's the thing. We have a backyard, right? Nice backyard. I think I mentioned this in the previous vlog. We have a nice backyard. Like it has a deck and then it has like space on the sides and at the front. So it's a decent amount of space for like, that's the whole freaking reason why I specifically 
told the realtor, I want this townhouse. Like that one's okay. That one's nice too. I prefer the one in that area because I love that area. But this one has the biggest backyard for my dog. And I don't wanna walk my dog two or three times a day, especially when it's super cold. I just wanna open the back door and say, you know what, bitch, go outside for 10 minutes or five minutes, whatever. Do what you have to do and then I'll let you back in. And then I will go out there whenever I feel like it and pick up after you because it's my backyard. So I can leave your frozen shit on the floor for three days if I feel like it. You get what I'm saying? The neighbors who live, I'm so sorry, excuse me. The neighbors who live um, next door to us, they have a dog as well. <laughs> Now, their dog does what dogs are supposed to do. They literally open the door, the dog goes outside, she uses the bathroom, she even plays. Like they put on her boots and her coat and they let her outside and she, I, I literally stand upstairs by my bedroom window and I watch this dog play for like five minutes. And then I see when their back door opens, I see like the tip of the door, so they're like, Come inside, Emily, whatever the dog's name is. And she goes back inside. Temperley doesn't do that. If I open the back door, she literally sits on the deck, right by the back door. She's looking inside like, bitch, so y'all gonna let me back inside or what's happening here? Be a dog, go, run, play, do stuff. She doesn't do it, so. Thanks, Temperley, for causing me to sacrifice what I want in life to make you happy and you don't even use the backyard that, you know what? Forget it. That's why you don't do shit for these kids, period. You live your life for you. I'm gonna end the vlog right here. The next vlog that you see is going to be the apartment tour, finally. Like, it's already recorded. I just need to edit it. I need to finish editing it. Anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog right here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.